All right. Um, what word would you use to describe how you feel right now? One word? Yeah. Blessed. This is my little love, my little bug. Hi, my name is Nick Magnotti. I'm 27 years old. Uh, I am a st I have stage four appendix cancer. And uh, this is my seven month old daughter, Austin. Uh, my wife and I had her together. I've been married to Elisa for five years now. I was first diagnosed with cancer. I was 24 years old. And uh, scared. I was at first. Uh, I remember when I got the phone call. I was uh, I'd just woken up. I think it was like eight in the morning. I was still recovering from the surgery when they had removed the cancer. And Elise was in the kitchen, and I was in the living room. And I answered the phone, and it's my surgeon. And he tells me that I have cancer. And uh, man, talk about getting the wind knocked out of you. That was a uh, that was a hard phone call. We uh. At least I sat down on the couch and, and we cried. And uh, we decided that we were going to hit it head on. We were going to take this, take this beast and, you know, make our own. The chemo has gotten to a point where it's no longer doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, even though it's continuing treatment, my pain was getting worse. So it's an indication that the cancer is spreading faster than the chemo can kill it. So. Um, we decided to stop chemotherapy just because chemo makes me feel so cruddy. Uh, we want to be able to enjoy every single day to its fullest and when you feel you know, so ill you can't get out of bed, it's kind of hard to do that. I'm not scared of death. You know, you, you can say, being a Christian, that you shouldn't be scared of death because you know that you're going to a better place, but it's human nature. I want to be scared. And I think it's strange that I'm not scared. I, I don't feel strange, I know why I don't feel scared, I know it's because God has given me this peace and this blessing that everyone's dying. Mm -hmm. um, this morning there's people who get up and go to work and they're not going to come home tonight. Uh, and their families had no idea that that was going to happen. They didn't get a chance to plan for it, they didn't get a chance to, you know, set aside videos, they didn't get a chance to do birthday cards. Um, their, their lives end and they move on to, to hopefully heaven and um, their families' lives continue. So I live every day with the appreciation for today and not concerned with what tomorrow will bring. We could have a meter hit the, hit the world and everyone would die and my cancer would be pointless because it wouldn't have been what, what would took me out. And I was so concerned and focused on that and then that happens and that would just, to me that's a waste. Um, I feel blessed because I'm living every person's dream. I get to spend every day with people that I love, and I get to do anything and everything that I want to do. I get to, you know, at least and I want to take our little baby Austin to the aquarium, we can go to the aquarium. The Lord has blessed us with uh, the means and the ability to be able to do that. The relationship that's developed, the amount that I've gotten to know God, I've I just wish everyone could get to experience what I feel. I just feel so blessed to be able to, um, you know, be up in the middle of the night in pain and be able to talk to God and be inspired to, you know, try and help people. And I just feel lucky that even though I'm experiencing this pain, that I'm given the opportunity to change lives. You know, in, 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 in the Lord's name, I'm getting the opportunity to help people. Just for me, I hope that they will give it a thought. One day at church. You know, something. One step in the direction, whether it's Googling just a Bible passage, reading a chunk of something, you know, seeing if there's anything that appeals to you in any way, shape, or form. Mom, do you want to say how much you love Austin? She your little angel. You're my sweet, sweet girl, Austin. I love you so much. See you again soon. She's my little bundle of joy. And I love her so much. And this is another reason why we're doing this video is because I want her to know 
that her daddy loved the Lord, and that her daddy wants to help people so that she will have the same heart. Um, you know, I'm just talking to God about how I know that even if I'm not here, that he's her father and he's going to take care of her. He's going to protect her. He's going to watch out for her. He's going to provide for her. I would love to be a part of raising her every single year of her life, but any every day the Lord gives me with her is just <clears throat> the biggest blessing, you know, bigger blessing than I, I deserve. Words can't describe how it feels to have her as my daughter and to be blessed with her. Um, so I do worry, but that's just because I'm human. Um, I know that Austin is going to be taken care of, and I know that the Lord has big plans for her. I know that she's going to accomplish some pretty impressive things in her life. Smiles? You got a proud daddy, Austin, already. So, you're doing good.